solid weld simulation has two type of welding simulations or weld type first is groove type welding and other is fillet weld type fillet weld type may be single fillet single sided or may be double sided fillet weld in this simulations you will learn to calculate the weld size as well as weld throat if we see the definition the what is the weld size weld size is the distance between the root between the root and the toe of the weld this is the this distance is called the weld size and if we talk about weld throat that is the distance between root and the face of the weld remember that fillet weld is a rectangular type or triangular type welding in this simulation tutorials you will learn how i can carry out fillet edge weld simulations and how we can evaluate weld size as well as weld throat here is a simple bracket assembly that has the two bodies one is its surface body and other is its solid body please remember that we need a surface body in order to carry out simulations in solid works so first of all download this 3d model from our link given in video descriptions after that open it in solid works 20 23 and go to simulation module and create a new study give it a name that is edge weld analysis okay after that first of all we will assign material to both bodies both solid as well as surface bodies so go to the edge weld part right click apply material to bodies wait until material box appear so the material for all body is elastic apply and close you can see now that material has been assigned to both bodies if you note that here is a message that thickness has not been defined now so right click on the surface body and go to edit definition and assign the thickness that is 5 mm you can see now that thickness has been assigned to this surface body and from component interactions right click on global interaction type edit definition again and there are three type of component interaction bonded contact free so the contact between the solid bodies as well as the surface surface bodies is the contact not the bonded or not the free okay leave other properties or parameters default for contact component interaction again right click on the connections and select the edge weld here is the weld type that is fillet weld type with double sided because there are two type of weld that is fillet weld type as well as groove weld type so we will are using fillet weld with double sided option select the face of this surface body and the select the face of this this face of the solid body you can see the purple color that shows the that shows the edge weld that has been selected by default and from weld sizing select the american standard and from electrode list select e60 
and the for electrode change the estimated weld size to 2 mm okay now it's type time to apply bonding conditions so right click on the fixture fixed geometry and from from fixed geometry options select this face that is fully constrained and now go to the loads apply your loads or force and from force or torque option select the force option select the edge of this hole and select the direction from here select the front or sorry right right plane for reference direction here are the units that are as a units and define the direction in the assign a force in the z directions so assign a force of 100 newton in z directions if you reverse the direction you can see the arrows direction has been changed so revert don't check the reverse direction we want we want to apply the load in this negative z directions and we don't want to apply the loads in x or y directions okay and the last step is to generate the mesh create mesh and from mesh parameters select curvature based mesh wait until mesh being generated so you can see now the mesh has been created now run your study so our study has been completed now if you go to stress go to edit definitions select the stress in megapascal and floating that stress is 1.5 megapascal that is very very low than that of the material heat strength just change the load to 1000 newton instead of 100 newton and run the study again channel you can see the stress is 15 megapascal that is very less than the yield strength of the material now it's time to check the weld size as well as weld throat right click on the result and list weld results So here you can see there is only one weld connector and the maximum weld size is 0.1 millimeter while our estimated weld size was 2 millimeter. That means as the maximum weld size is very less than that of our defined value that was 2 millimeter that means our weld, welding joint is safe. Similarly, you can check the weld throat size that is 0 0.07 millimeter. That is very very low. So, if we increase the force, to 10 thousand newton, and change the weld size, estimated weld size. Reduce it from 2 millimeter to 1 millimeter and run the simulation again and check the results of weld size as well as throat. You can see the maximum 
stress now is the 150 mega pascal that mean our design is also safe now because the stress is less than that of the material yield strength again go to the result list word result okay you can see that the weld size now is maximum weld size is 1.4 1.045 mm that is greater than than that we defined our estimated weld size that we kept 1 mm that mean our welding joint is not safe now so we have to increase the estimated weld size and similarly here is the weld throat that is 0.7 mm if you go to the plot you can see the weld size profile as well as weld throat profile along the length of the this edge weld so edge weld start from this yellow yellow ball yellow sphere and end this at this so overall length is about if you see here about 90 mm and maximum weld weld thickness will occur at the mid of the that length that is 45 mm here on here the length will be maximum so in this simulation tutorial you learn how we can define weld size or edge weld connector far apart and how we can evaluate or check the weld size as well as throat size and also uh, see either our welding estimated weld size is safe or not please make a practice of this lesson and if you have any query you can ask us in our comment box thank you for your time take care bye bye